Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we talk about chronic illness, disability, mobility aids, and lifestyle -y stuff. In today's video, I thought it'd be interesting to give you a tour of my room, both because room tours are interesting, because you get to nosy around other people's spaces, but also because there's lots of things in my room that are chronic illness specific. So I thought it'd be interesting for you to see some of the things in my bedroom that I have specifically to help me with my chronic illness and give you some ideas of what things you could implement implement into your room um, to help you or if you just want to see a more in-depth look of my room more than what you just see in the backgrounds of my videos this is the video for you as well but before we get started in this video I want to specially mention Anna Luisa who has provided this jewelry that you can see me wearing now they have kindly sent me this jewelry for free in exchange for me talking about it on my channel so the pieces I got are the willow layered necklace it's actually one necklace and it's 73 pounds and I also got the classic classic hoops bundle which comes with a medium sized hoop and a small hoop and then like a little ear cuff and the classic hoop bundle is 185 if you want a whole set of earrings I feel like it's a really good way to go I wanted to get enough that I could have a whole set almost um, I have two piercings in the lobe and actually I do have one up here which I usually have a real piercing in but I have a cuff now um, I wanted to really like branch out and start trying some gold things because I usually wear silver and Ana Luisa is predominant gold it is sterling silver plated with 14 karat gold so it's a really good quality so when I saw the classic hoop bundle I thought that would be perfect because it completely encapsulates all my piercings um, and if you don't have the multiples then you just get different choices which I think is nice but I like the idea of like wearing them all together and having a little bit of a stack so I did choose some of the more expensive pieces but their jewellery starts at $39 so it's like affordable but also good quality and they really care about environmentalism which I really appreciate the little pouches are really good quality so you could use them again and they don't come in like big plastic boxes or anything it's, it comes in a nice cardboard box obviously whenever you're buying something new you need to be conscious that um the company you're buying from is as sustainable as possible and i think anna louise are definitely making a, like a good um strong effort to be environmentally aware of their impact and if you decide that something from anna louise would be really great in your collection or maybe like me you want to round out a full set of earrings all at once. If you're interested in anything from Anna Luisa you can look at my description and if you decide to purchase you can use my 10% off discount code it is my name and 10 Eleanor Brown 10. You can also follow them on Instagram and subscribe to their newsletters if you want more information about them. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for providing the products for this video. I really appreciate the support. So the room tour. Before we get started in the room tour a quick note I have tidied. I tidied I hoovered. I very much prepared for this room tour. While I was filming it, my flatmate did say, you should do a room tour when it's really messy. And I said, hmm, you're not wrong. I quite often for videos shove the mess out of the frame. And for this video, I specifically tidied a lot of it. Under my bed is still a mess. Inside my chest of drawers is still a nightmare. But anything I was gonna show you, I tidied. And that's not a realistic look into how I live as a chronically ill person. I do do not live in a spotless room. I do not hoover nearly as much as a regular person might. I don't I don't know how much people hoover. I don't hoover very often. I try and keep it as surface tidy as possible so I don't feel overwhelmed and upset by the mess, but I don't manage it. And the worse I feel, the more I'm flaring, the worse the room is, and it can get really, really bad. So I did think I might film another one, a more realistic one, once it's gotten to a horrible state which it will, just inevitably, it will. So um, if you are interested in that video, if you comment and let me know that you would like me to do a room tour when my bedroom's a nightmare, because I do think it would be interesting and helpful, and helpful to show that this is not the state that I usually live in. Um, this is a very idealized version of my bedroom. And with that, let's get started. So we are in the hallway. This is outside of my bedroom. This is my bedroom door. And actually I keep some of my stuff out here on some little hooks because nobody was using these hooks and I thought I'll have them. Um, so I have my backpack with my stickers on it, I have my winter coat and I have my two walking sticks out here on the hooks. I find that this is 
the best place to keep them. If I lean them up against something, they fall down. So hang it on a hook. That's the best, uh, best system. On the floor, we have the router and the sheep, which is very important for any house. And then my bedroom door has a sign with my name on it because I'm a child. So this is my bedroom when you come in through the door. Bit of a different angle than you usually see. But this is the back wall that I quite often have in my filming. Um, it has my pin board with all my photos, memories and things. Not going to go too in depth with this because it has other people on it. So we're just going to skip right over that. If you're stood where the door is, big old window and it gets, this room gets so much beautiful natural light. It's amazing. Over here we have my wardrobe. This house is rented and it came furnished. So almost all of the furniture that's in this room was here when I moved in, including this wardrobe, which is slightly wonky. Um, it kind of leans slightly that way and the doors don't open that easily. They get stuck a bit, but this is where I keep most of my dresses and jackets, nice blouse things, you know, just a regular wardrobe really. Um, and tucked in by the side of my wardrobe is my wheelchair and my hula hoop. Don't know if you knew I had a hula hoop but I do and I use it infrequently but I like the idea of hula hooping I was a very good hula hoop as a child I just I have to go outside and it's a whole lot of effort but anyway so I have a wiggly mirror which not ideal but it's fine the wheelchair is it does stick out quite a lot into the room but just don't really have a better way to put it there moving across I have a fireplace this house is pretty old we think around 1830 ish it was built so this fireplace is in a lot of the room because obviously that was their main source of heating at the time. Um, so I have a big fireplace with like quite a big hearth. It like cuts out quite a lot of the room. On the mantelpiece, I have a lot of plants and some like knick-knack things I think are nice for decoration. So I have my Barbies and I have my plants. I have some little crochet cactuses and the extender for my purple walking stick for when I want to wear heels. And I just keep all of that stuff nice and decorated on my mantelpiece. So I have wheelchair Barbie and Barbie Swan Lake um, as decorative <laughs> items. Wheelchair Barbie I got this past birthday and Barbie Swan Lake is from my childhood. So I actually had her when I was a kid and she just managed to hang around until I decided I wanted Barbies again. Here on the floor, I have my washing bag and then I have two pairs of like chunky boots because I don't really know where else to put them. They're quite chunky. So that's just what I have on the um, like hearth area quite often I'll end up throwing things on the hearth area so usually it's not this tidy things kind of get chucked here because you can't really walk there so it's just a place I throw things that I don't know what to do with so at this end of the mantelpiece I have this cute little elephant watering can and this adorable cactus which I've managed not to kill even though I accidentally left it in a cupboard for several months and I have my chest of drawers here again this came with the house so it's not my personal style but it is okay at its job so I have just ha clothes that I don't hang in here um, but it's a natural nightmare horrible mess in this basket I have my jumpers again with the house being quite old it gets a little bit musty so I think my jumpers do better when they are like have airflow I don't know if that makes sense that's what I think anyway you can tell me if I'm wrong that's not how clothes work so I have my hats up here I have two berets and a whatever this hat is called um, which I don't wear very often because hats make me nervous but I like the idea of them. I have my like everyday handbag, my jewellery box and my sunglasses just here so kind of like accessories, the accessories area if you will. And then we come around to the big window. So my desk is directly in front of the window which I love. I love to just sit here and just watch people walk past, keep track of anything going on in the street. I think it's really fun. Um, on my desk I have my makeup Behind the mirror I have pens. The pens for writing are in a little cup that says Spoonie Squad, which my friends got me, which was very cute. My laptop is here. It's on a little, what they call a bed table. So basically it has these little legs and so while I'm in bed it will sit on the bed and I can use my laptop in bed which is really helpful for getting work done because I don't always feel like well enough to sit at a desk so if I don't I have the bed table. On the other side of the desk I just have another plant and a fake plant and an elephant and a 
lamp, which I don't use. Um, and right behind me is a fan. I struggle to maintain my temperature and so I have a fan and I also have a space heater for the winter to keep my temperature kind of right. And here there's three drawers. The first one just has stationery. The middle one has hair stuff. The bottom one has random stuff, including a huge amount of chewing gum, which I generally chew gum when I'm anxious because it's supposed to help. I don't know if it does, but now I'm in the habit of it when I'm anxious. Below that, I have a box of nail polish. And then to the left of the desk, I have a little bookshelf. I keep my books on the top, as well as sewing and crochet supplies in those two boxes. And then I keep my shoes that fit on this shelf. Then over here I have my bedside table with my med boxes, um, a little wooden box that I keep random things in, and then the books that I'm reading along with my journal which I attempt to journal in but frequently forget. I also have a drink of water which is always important, my headphones. I also have this annoying little stool here because this is way too high up if you want to watch TV or something, so I always put my iPad here to watch TV. Um, so I have a, an annoying little stool right in the way of the cupboard. The world most annoying cupboard as it is so how could it be worse really um it opens the wrong way for my bed and i can't put it on the other side because of space and when it gets closed it's really hard to open so it's not really an ideal cupboard the box at the bottom is my medication next to it is my heating pad that i use in bed for my pain then at the top i have non-prescription pe like painkillers and things like that and then i have toothbrush and toothpaste if you don't live on the same floor as your bathroom i highly recommend it i basically use it for when i can't make it up the stairs i can still brush my teeth because they're also down here i have a second toothbrush and toothpaste upstairs but these are my downstairs ones you can see in the corner i have a another bed tray and a bed cushion thing for my ipad because i spend a lot of time in bed and they're very useful over here is where i film i film most of my videos sat on the bed with that wall as the background it's a big bed and it takes up most of the room and i spend most of my time i do a lot of work from bed even though i know experts say you should like separate your like rest and workspace i don't it's more practical to work from bed a lot of the time it causes less pain Pain and it's less effort. Um, also, I have this lovely knitted blanket that my mum made. It's actually a temperature blanket. So every stripe is a different day from 2021 based on what the temperature was. Um, and the octopus lives on the bed, as you know. If you see my other videos, it's almost always here. But what you don't know is that her name is Peggy. We have called her Peggy since almost since I got her and it is a Hamilton reference um because she is and peggy um so you see her in a lot of my videos she's in the background usually she's the little happy pink every now and again you'll see her as the, the grumpy blue octopus but not very often because i like pink and i like that she's happy but the little grumpy one is cute as well um so she's in most of my videos over the last year and a half probably she's in almost all of them um but yeah, that's Peggy, and this is pretty much all of my bedroom. You can see the door behind me, that's my winter dressing gown, so we've done a whole lap. I hope you enjoyed my room tour. Um, I really enjoyed making it, it was quite different for me, so I found it really fun. And um, let me know if you use any of the same little tricks um, to make your life with a chronic illness easier, the same as I do. And thank you again to Anna Louisa for the jewellery in this video and providing a link and discount code and if you want to look into anything from Anna Luisa my link is in the description and my discount code is Eleanor Brown 10 same way my name is spelled in my channel name and it is in the description if you just want to copy and paste it and if you buy anything from Anna Luisa I'd love to see it on Instagram thank you so much for watching comment below if you want to see a messy version of this and I will see you soon bye <laughs>